That was a great shot. Right. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Earlier, we talked about how the movie Black Panther is still breaking records at the box office. So today, in spirit of Wakanda, travel expert Davey Sutton is back to tell us all about where we can go to the travel mm -hmm. magical land. Yes. yes. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. To Wakanda. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, so um, we're very happy that you're here. I always love to have Davey Sutton here. So where are we going to start first in Wakanda land? Okay, so we're going to start in Africa. We're, we're going to explore Africa. Mm -hmm. And I just want to warn you that vibranium hasn't been discovered yet, but we're going to get pretty we're gonna close. Okay. We'll get so we're going to start in the north west and that we're going to Morocco and yes. the reason I picked Morocco is because Wakanda they have so many beautiful colors yes, right mm -hmm. the vibrant purples and reds Ooh, and oranges wow. and so when you explore Morocco you're mm -hmm. going to get that from the ancient towns of Casablanca to mm -hmm. Marrakesh to the Atlas Mountains nice and you can go through the markets and experience that or out to the tanneries where they do the dyes for the leather nice I love that and lots of colors next? there yes where are we going next? Okay, so let's uh, go next to uh, the east, mm -hmm. and we're going to go to Ethiopia. Okay. Um, maybe the map will come up, or maybe not, but we're going to go to Ethiopia. <laughs> there it is. Hi, Here we Ethiopia. go. There so we we're going to go to Ethiopia. And now, one of the key things about Wakanda was that it was a place that had never been colonized. Yes. And did you know that there are two places in Africa, Ethiopia being one, that had never been colonized? Mm. So when you go to Ethiopia, you're going to experience some of the real Beautiful. authentic unfiltered culture, including some of the lit plates that we saw mm. in the movie. Oh, nice. Mm. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so where are we going next? Okay, staying on the east, a little more south, we're going to go to Kenya and, Nai and Nairobi, Kenya, mm -hmm. to be specific. Now, there was a, in um, the movie, there was a juxtaposition of uh, the city and the um, rule. Right. So you, uh, Nairobi National Park is just four miles from uh, the city center. So you can be out on safari and see some lions and zebras, but also see the cityscapes beyond. Nice. All right, all right. So we are going, so how's tourism like in Africa now? What is it like? Okay, so tourism in Africa, I think there's an increased curiosity about mm -hmm, tourism in Africa because of the movie. And so I think what um, one of the things I wanted to mention is that National Geographic recently um, admitted that they had a biased and even racist um, projection and their coverage of of Africa over the years really? um, because they only showed one side, right? We mm -hmm. saw, of course, Africa is a continent. And so we only saw the poverty stri stricken things and famine. But as we are exploring right now and today, that there is so much beautiful and uh, culture and yeah. vast resources there. Awesome, mm. awesome. So we have to take a quick break, but when we come back, we'll be heading south and chasing waterfalls with Davey when we come back. So stay <laughs> right there. <laughs> All right now, chasing waterfalls. Yes. Love it. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are here with our travel guru, Davey Sutton, and we are in the Rakonda spirit. So we're heading south now. Yes, yeah, so let's go to South Africa. So many of us are familiar with Cape Town. Yes, But let's talk about Johannesburg, because one of the things about Wakanda was about it's a place of technology yes. and innovation. So Joburg is really establishing itself on the map as being a place with technology. There's a lot of startups that are getting international acclaim there, and there's oh. a real strong creative community. Community. Good, nice. good, good, good. So we saw a lot of the waterfalls in the movie. I love that, you know, when the whole thing was going on, the competition. So can we get that in real life? Yeah, waterfall. the waterfall in the movie was an epic centerpiece. That's okay. where the battles were fought. Yes. yes. And a king was declared. Yes. And so one of the most, I cannot go, talk about that without thinking about Victoria Falls. It's one of the most epic waterfalls, one of the biggest in the world. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, it's in, in Zambia mm -hmm. and on the border of um, Zimbabwe. Okay. And so this is a place that is, oh, it's literally on people's bucket list mm -hmm. to go there. And you, you can really see some sights by Beautiful. seeing it. Um, there's some places where you can actually experience it and go near it and close to it. But also if you get a chance to go above it by helicopter, yeah. it's going to be life changing. Nice. The, that's the picture's life changing. <laughs> All right. So maybe with the success of the movie, what is tourism like right now? Well, I think there's an increased interest in, in it. And I think the it used to be a mythical, mystique place. And can we re really visit? Visit. And this is why I wanted to have the map so we can actually, a lot of us don't know some of these places. So yeah. rather than just rattling off these places, I wanted to show you on the map. We, map we went we went north, we went east, we went south. Um, uh, uh, we didn't get to go west, but we can see it's a continent full of many countries. And just as many countries, there are many countries, there's many cultures and microcultures. So I think it's prime time for us to start exploring Africa. Right. So a lot of people were saying, oh, yeah, I'm going to get my passport. And now how much would this cost? 
Oh, I mean, it, that's the, you know, it's actually unfair. Um, I have a friend from Nigeria, and she said since the 80s, tickets to Nigeria have been 2,000 a pop, and it still is that today. And really? I think that's just a little bit of discrimination because it's the only way that you can travel right. abroad. So it is can be costly, but you can remember before I told you about keeping your eye on destinations by putting uh, trackers and alerts, and maybe you can catch a glitch fair over there. Yeah. Remember, people came over to um, to Dubai a couple years ago for about $200 what on a glitch fair. What are some of your favorite places to go get deals? Um, so one of the places that I always say that you can search everywhere mm -hmm. is skyscanner.com is nice. one of my favorite websites. And also um, there is a place to sign up for emails like Fly Glitch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so basically it's a, it's a matter of if you're going to be flexible to where you're going or versus where you want, you have a specific place that you want to go, you, it's best to monitor yes. what the price it does. And then you know when a deal actually is presented. Nice. Okay. Well, you are the deal. Okay. And we're so glad that you're always here <laughs> to give us the deals. Make sure you uh, catch Davey's travel show. And I love that show. She has so much fun. Beyond the Usual on Amazon Prime. Thank you for taking us to Wakanda. Wakanda.